Welcome in everybody to Holidays and Celebrations. Pam here. And guys, we are talking about the weird, wild, and wacky holidays for the second week in February. Alright? So, now, guys, a lot of people consider the week to start on Sunday and then some consider the week to start on Monday, okay? But I'm going to give you the rundown of February the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. And I'm going to throw in there on the 14th, okay? Uh, we're going to cover the whole run, all right? So today I'm going to start with Sunday the 7th. Oh, guys. Every single one of you is going to know what I'm about to say. What is the big day that everybody waits for, can't hardly wait for, every single year to, to roll around? You know, it's Super Bowl Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. February the 7th. <laughs> well, guys, I pulled up one of the almanacs here, and I was going to show you. It's got a, um, a whole page devoted to Super Bowl Sunday right here in the almanac. And I thought that I'd read you a little bit of what it said, okay? So, it says, Snack Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday is second only to Thanksgiving as America's biggest food holiday. Can you imagine that, guys? Second only to Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving is a humongous food holiday for us, no doubt about it. Tons of food all over the table, right? Well, Super Bowl Sunday is considered exactly the same, but on a snack level, right? So, um, I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. People spend, oh my gosh, they'll plan it for two weeks for the food layout for Super Bowl Sunday because it it is a day that everybody looks forward to for the whole year. So I can I can see how it would be the second food holiday, you know, behind Thanksgiving. Now, Super Bowl Sunday is second only to Thanksgiving as America's biggest food holiday. Maybe that's why February is also National Snack Food Month. Did you guys know that? February is National Snack Food Month. Here's what People have eaten by the numbers on recent Super Bowl Sundays. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. More than 1.35 billion wings. Okay, that's always on my table. More than 12.5 million takeout pizzas. Everybody loves pizza. 20, 29 million pounds of chips. With dip. Can't have Super Bowl Sunday without chip and dip. And 160 million avocados. Holy cow. 160 million avocados. That must be a lot of guacamole, right? No doubt. And 3.8 million pounds of popcorn. Wow. Is your mouth watering right now? Mine is. Wow. Super Bowl Sunday. Okay, guys. So, that is the big holiday for Sunday the 7th. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Now, it's also uh, Fettuccine Alfredo Day, Sherotic Table Day, Send a Card to a Friend Day. Okay. So then we're going to flip to, we're going to flip over to the 8th. And we're going to see what's happening on the 8th. Well, it's National Kite Flying Day for the 8th. And what we got here? This says, uh, what does this say? Boy Scout Day, Clean Out Your Computer Day. Football hangover day. <laughs> yeah, well, I imagine there'll be some of those, right? 
Iowa Day and Kite Flying Day. I think that's Kite Flying Day is in more than one of my uh, calendars here, guys. Okay, so now let's flip over to Tuesday, February the 9th, and we're going to take a look and see what weird, wild, and wacky holidays are for Tuesday the 9th. I think I've got some information about kite flying on uh, on Monday the 8th. Let me check something. Here we go. Observed annually on February the 8th, National Kite Flying Day is marked by kite flying enthusiasts across the country. Kites date back to China in 470 BC. Some stories tell us kites being invented to spy on enemies or to send messages up to the heavens to the gods. Wow. Early kites were constructed from bamboo or steady reeds for framing. Leaves, silk, and paper made ideal cells in early years. With vines or braided fibers completed the line or tether. While kites were initially used as tools, they were also ceremonial as well. Today, kites are popular both as hobbies and for outdoor fun. They range from a single diamond kite to more complicated box kites and giant sled kites. It's time to check the wind, release the string, and fly toward the heavens. Do you guys fly kites? I enjoyed it when I was a kid. I haven't flown a kite in ages and ages and ages, though. I used to really love when I lived uh, on the beach in Florida. I used to really love going to the kite festivals that they would always have on the beach and that they'd have the kite flying contest and you could watch all the super kites doing their amazing things. They'd have the big giant dragons. It was amazing, y'all. That was a good memory. I never flew a kite, but I never missed the uh, kite shows. It was fun. Okay, let's uh, jump to February the 9th, which is a Tuesday. February the 9th. Let's see what we've got for February the 9th. We have Read in the Bathtub Day. <laughs> let's see. This calendar is uh, promoting Read in the Bathtub Day also, guys. Right there. Read in the Bathtub Day. It's Bagel and Lock Day, Pizza Day, and Toothache Day as well. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Need to get pizza. The first pizzeria uh, opened in Naples, Italy in 1738. Wow, we're all glad they did. Didn't, you know what? For real. Let's see. Open the first pizzeria in the U.S. in 1895 in New York City. Over 3 billion pizzas are sold in the U.S. each year. I believe that. Add another 1 billion frozen pizzas to that number. Okay. Pepperoni is the most popular pizza at 36% of all pies ordered. Americans consume on average 23 pounds of pizza per person each year. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? 17% of all U.S. restaurants as pizzerias. Getting a fresh pizza pie to your tummy has never been easier. So whether you like this thin Chicago-style deep dish or anything in between, celebrate National Pizza Day today. So it's traditional, guys, that everybody eats pizza on February the 9th for uh, Pizza Day. That's for sure. You're going to find pizza specials also. A lot of rest restaurants are going to be promoting Pizza Day, and they're, they're definitely going to have a discounted pizza or pizza promotions for everybody. Okay, we're going to jump now to February the 10th. It's falling on a Wednesday. And it's Umbrella Day, 
cream cheese brownie day, home warranty day. For February the 10th. Now let's see if I can't find one to read to you. All right. Today is home warranty day. And we thought we would remind all homeowners the importance of a good home warranty. At any given time, one or more of our Appliances can break down. When the washing machine breaks down, the hot water heater no longer produces hot water, or the central or air is kaput. The cost of repair or replacement can't be costly for any homeowner. Our homes are filled with complex and vital appliances, no doubt about that. Technology and other components that over time can and do wear out. I hate to even think about it myself. It makes sense to have items not covered under a homeowner's insurance policy have some protection too. Having a home warranty policy in place covers repair or replacement of these items that break down due to normal wear and tear. Your wallet will thank you. Nice little reminder. I don't like to be reminded of that stuff, though. How about you guys? No. Absolutely not. All right, let's jump to Thursday, February the 11th. It's National Inventors Day. And don't cry over spilt milk day. Let's see. Giving Hearts Day. Inventors Day. Make a Friend Day. Peppermint Patty Day, Shut In Visitation Day, and White Shirt Day. <clears throat> Here's a little bit of facts for you. What do Ernal Fraze, Thomas Adams, Melita Benz, and Stephen Perry all have in common with the Wright brothers. Hmm. Thomas Edison, George Washington Carver, and Alicia Oles, Otis. They are all inventors. They're all inventors, okay. On National Inventors Day, we honor anyone and everyone who preserved through the creation of their invention. Did you know that the microwave oven, penicillin, sticky notes, and bubble wrap were made by pure accident? Oh my God. Thanks to inventors, we can safely ride in an elevator or speak to anyone on the other side of the world. Many inventors go their whole life without recognition for their creation, while others are household names. Nearly everything around us is a result of someone tinkering in their garage, laboratory, or basement, trying to find a solution to a problem. So inventors take a bow. Today is your day. Keep tinkering, seeking a cure, finding ways to improve our everyday lives. You might be creating the next great invention. Ooh, fantastic. All right, now we're going to move to February the 12th, Friday. It's National Lost Penny Day. 
Friday is Chinese New Year. Oh, it's the Chinese New Year, February the 12th. That's a big deal right there. It's going to be a huge giant party in China, right? And um, February the 12th. On this one, calendar over here is Plum Pudding Day. That's a food holiday, guys. Plum Pudding Day. National Plum Pudding Day is celebrated each year on February the 12th. Why would it be celebrated February the 12th? Isn't that the big Christmas thing? Let's see what it says. Sing along, everyone. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. And bring it right here. Remember that? Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. <laughs> ah! <laughs> bring it right here. Also known as Christmas pudding. Yes. Yes. Definitely known as Christmas pudding. Fig figgy pudding or plum duff. I've heard it as plum pudding too, but it's saying plum duff. Is a steamed or boiled pudding usually served during the holiday season. The name Christmas pudding was first recorded in an 1858 novel by Anthony Anthony who? Trollope? Oddly, plum pudding contains no plums in many recipes. Really? Plum pudding is usually made up of nutmeg raisins, nuts, apples, cinnamon, and dates, along with other ingredients. In England, traditionally, every person in the home holds on to the wooden spoon together to help stir the batter and make a wish. Oh, wow. That's a great tradition. We wish we had some plum pudding, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never heard of that tradition. I learned something new today after all these years doing the holidays. How about that? Okay, guys, so that was Friday, February the 12th. Now let's jump to Friday, I mean Saturday, February the 13th. It's World Radio Day. World Radio Day on this one. Break up with your carrier day. Cheddar day. Global movie day. And Pertolini day. National Break Up With Your Carrier Day. It's a time to call it quits. You've been in a loveless relationship for a long time. Move on today. It's National Break Up With Your Carrier Day. We understand change can be hard and breaking up is always hard, especially the day before Valentine's Day. Most of us have an intimate relationship with our own phones. Yes, we said cell phones. So that's what the holiday national breakup with your carrier day, which leads us right into tomorrow's holiday, guys, which is Valentine's Day, February the 14th, National Valentine's Day. We can't miss out on that. It's being celebrated right on a Sunday, Sunday, February the 14th, National Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, guys. Well, there we go, guys. There's your rundown for the weird, the wild, and the wacky, the unusual holidays for the second week in February. I hope you guys found something fun out of that information. I hope you found something informative out of that information. 
and I hope it was uh, enough that you might want to share it with others, guys. So, well, you guys, I have some more research to do before I can call this day an end. And I don't know about you, but I am one tired lady right now. So, I'm going to say goodbye, and we'll catch you on next week's video where we'll... Uh, give you some more facts about the holidays and about our calendar about all the different holidays that uh we celebrate and observe so all right guys that's it for today thanks so much for being with me and sharing holidays and celebrations with me um, subscribe guys if you want to be a calendar keeper with us all right we'd love to have you as part of the community all right everybody Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Have a wonderful week and enjoy these weird, wild, and wacky holidays. Bye, guys. Love to all.